Hi, this is Dina for Split Coast Stampers. It always makes me sad when people buy a tool and then they can't use it. And the Bow Easy is one tool I hear so many people say they have it, but they can't figure it out. So I wanted to do a video to show you how really easy it is to use. I'll use the largest side here because it's easiest to see, but the instructions are the same for any side of the template that you use. If you're right-handed, you'll start with the end of the ribbon on the left side of the template and I leave about a three or four inch tail. Hold that in place with your left hand and then wrap the ribbon around the template to the right, keeping the ribbon flat and ending on the opposite side. Turn the end off, again giving yourself about three to four inches to work with and cutting at an angle will help with the next step too. So that cut end you're going to take and put through the center opening of the template above the loop that you just wrapped pull it tight through, and then bring it down the line of that groove and pull it up at the bottom of the loop. Pull the tail end up with your left hand and the cut end down with your right hand to make a tight twist in the center, and then cross those ends right over left and tie a knot, pulling the ends straight out to the sides. And that's it. You can slide the bow right off the template and shape the loops and tails. I usually grab the whole top with one hand and the bottom with the other, so I make sure to pull everything evenly. And then just trim the ends however you want. And I usually cut them at an angle, but you can do the fishtail ends or cut them straight. And that is the single bow. This bow ended up on this card with some stamps from Purple Onion Designs. To make a multi-loop bow, the only difference in the process is the number of times you wrap the ribbon around the template. So I'm making a double loop bow here, and I wrapped it two times around, ending again on the opposite side. And when I do multi-loop bows, I cut the tail just a little bit longer. But again, you're going to put the cut end of the ribbon through the top of the center groove, pull it up at the bottom, pull the ends opposite, tie that knot, and pull the ends straight out. You'll slide that off and you'll wanna shape and separate the loops a little bit. And again, be sure to pull evenly on each level of the bow, each set of loops so that you keep the bow even. That knot is really strong though and it shouldn't slip on you. This time I'm gonna fold the tails and cut at an angle so I have little fish tails at the end of my bow. That's a cute look and it doesn't fray as easily. If you're working with a synthetic ribbon like satin or polyester or organza, I'll share a little trick for keeping your loops in place. You can actually use your heat tool to just lightly heat toward the center of the bow and that will melt the ribbon just enough to hold its shape. Be really careful not to overheat or the ribbon will start to curl and if you really overheat it, you can end up with holes in your ribbon or just a melted mess. Here's that ribbon on a card. The chair image is from Purple Onion Designs and the sentiment is from Simon Says Stamp. If you don't have a bow easy tool, you can use a homemade template. I cut this one from a container lid so I could make wider bows. These steps will work with the peg type bow makers as well or any two stationary pegs or posts with a space in the center. And they will work with something as simple as a fork. And I found this easiest to do with a fork held in place rather than holding the fork in my hand. Here I have it under a heavy pile of bead boxes on a shelf where I do videos. So again, I wrap from left to right and on the opposite side, pull the right end through the top center and bring it up at the bottom center. Tie a knot right over left and pull the ends tight. And those tiny bows make really cute accents on colored images. This one is from Purple Onion Designs with a sentiment from Unity Stamps. I hope that clears up any questions you may have had about making bows with the Bow Easy, and I thank you so much for watching.